Hi everybody and welcome back to the Cousin to Disney YouTube channel. It's just me today. It's Misty. You'll notice there's no Tammy. It's because I'm here in New York um, filming solo um, for the next bit or so. Um, and it is Disneyland week here on Cousin to Disney because today, or I'm filming this on the 17th, you will see it on the 18th, but Disneyland's birthday is July 17th and it turned 63 years old and I decided I was going to share some of my Disneyland memories so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay so the first time I visited Disneyland was actually in the 90s. I've been twice. Um, both of them were in the 90s. There were two summers in a row. I haven't been back since. I am rectifying the situation. In October where me and one of my best girlfriends, Val, are going to Disneyland in October for Halloween. We are super excited about it, and don't worry, I will be filming and documenting everything for you guys, so you can guys see, can kind of, you know, get in a little bit on the fun. Um, but the first time I went to Disneyland was the summer between my 8th grade and ninth grade year. So I think that was 95? Uh, yeah, it was either 95 or 96. Um, no, it was 95. It's definitely 95. Um, it was the summer between my 8th grade and ninth grade year. Um, so I was going into high school, and I went with my church at the time. Um, every summer, the high school youth groups would do this mission trip down to Mexico, um, Tijuana, and we would build houses for, um, for the needy. And we would go down there, we would spend about... I think it was like a week or so building the actual house and like we would get there and there would only be a concrete concrete slab and we had to do everything else so I learned actually a lot I learned how to hammer I learned how to drywall I learned how to paint correctly learned a lot of stuff anyways on the way back because we would drive there from Colorado on the way back I guess as a reward or something we would do one day at a beach in San Diego uh, I think it was called Mission Beach and then the next day we would go to Disneyland and that was the, honestly, I mean, yes, helping, you know, we went down there with a mission to help their people. But as a teenager, Disneyland is a very big draw. And I remember the first time I walked through those gates, I think I cried a little bit. I was, I wasn't the youngest, but most of the people that were in the van with me were all the older kids, so like the juniors and seniors of the youth group. And... They couldn't understand why a teenager was so excited to go to Disney. And I, at the time, couldn't explain to them because Disney's awesome. And I'd never been to Disney before. And I just remember walking through the gates and seeing the castle at Main Street USA and all those things. I think I started to cry a little bit. Um, I do remember I ended up losing my group somehow. Don't ask me how. I wander. Um, and I just kind of wandered around Disney all by myself and honestly it was awesome because I didn't have to, you know, hang with the naysayers or do stuff that, you know, a lot of them honestly just kind of wanted to sit around and, you know, drink coffee all day and do nothing. Um, I wanted to go meet characters and ride rides and I remember I was like one of the only like non-little kids with an autograph book. I actually had the Disney autograph book and I got like Pooh Bears and Tigger signatures and Minnie Mouses and Donald Ducks and you know I could just meet as many characters as I wanted and I remember seeing the Main Street Electrical Parade which now I've seen a video of Paint the Night and Paint the Night does look awesome and I really really wish I could be in California to see Paint the Night before it goes away again. But there's just something nostalgic about the original Main Street Electrical Parade. Maybe it's because it was my first Disney parade ever, but there's just something very nostalgic about it and I loved it. And then I went and saw Fantasmic and I loved that even more and I actually, I saw the first showing of Fantasmic and then I just kind of like went and rode the Haunted Mansion for a while and went back and saw Fantasmic again. So I saw it twice because that's how much I loved it. Um, and I was sad. I was really sad when we were leaving because we only got one day and, you know, DCA wasn't around then. I think DCA might have still been a parking lot. I don't know. But there's just something very nostalgic about it. And then... Oh. <coughs> 
And then I did, the next summer we did the same thing. We went down, did the exact, exact same mission, built the houses, came back. And the second year, we almost didn't go to Disneyland. Um, there was a vote had to been taken because some kids wanted to stay and do a second day at the beach and some kids wanted to go to Disneyland. And I remember the adults were talking, okay, well maybe like one half of you guys can drive up and go to Disneyland and the other half can go to like Santa Monica or something like that. But it was eventually vetoed and eventually it was determined that no, you know, part of the thing, you know, was to go to Disneyland. And so we did, we went to Disneyland for a second year in a row. And it was just as awesome. I think the second year, I remember concentrating on more rides than I did the first year, because I think the first year I didn't ride that many rides. I remember very vividly riding Haunted Mansion as many times as I could. Um, Small World, in which I got stuck twice. Two year, two summers in a row I got stuck in Small World. Um, I do remember Splash Mountain. Um, but those were, I didn't ride a ton of rides the first time. I, I, I focused more on characters and just absorbing everything. So the second time I went, I focused more on the rides and did like Space Mountain. Um, I think Matterhorn was closed. Did Splash Mountain again. Of course I did Haunted Mansion. Um, I rode the train, uh, teacups. I think I rode teacups a couple of times. I rode Dumbo for sure. Um, did the characters. Didn't eat a ton because I think back then, if I remember correctly, Disney food wasn't a big deal like it is now. Like now Disney goes out of their way to make amazing treats and Instagrammable treats. And keep in mind, this is, you know, 95, 96 Instagram was not even a twinkle in anyone's eye. We still had dial up. Um, but then, yeah, we did, came home. And then when I got home, I realized that that was probably my last time going to Disneyland. Um, just because once you turn 16, it's increasingly harder to have an entire free summer. You know, when you're not 16, you don't really have a job yet. Your summers, you can do whatever. Once you turn 16, you know, responsibilities, adult stuff, you know, you kind of get a smidge of adulting. And that was my last summer, but like, it didn't dawn on me that that was probably my last time going to Disneyland for a while until like we were driving home and you almost kind of think back going, if I had known I would have done so much more stuff. But you know, this is 96, there was only so much stuff you could do. And in 20, and you, it wasn't even 24 hours, it was like, whenever we got there until the park closed. Um, Cause we weren't there for rope drop, we got there a couple of hours after rope drop. Um, but I just remember wandering around and watching fireworks and the parades and, you know, Fantasmic and meeting those characters and I just loved it so much. And it's hard to believe that that park is 63 years old today. It's, or this week, it's, you know, Walt's baby, Walt's, Walt's little dream, you know, of, of a family friendly theme park is still, not only it's still going, but it's all around the world at this point. You know, we've got parks in Orlando and Paris and Hong Kong and Shanghai and Tokyo. There's a really good documentary to watch called Walt Disney's America. I think it's on, it was a PBS documentary and I think it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon, Netflix, or Hulu. It's one of those three. Um, or if you subscribe to the PBS app, I think it's still on there. But it's really great because it really talks about why, like how Walt got into really creating Disneyland and how much he, how much effort went into creating Disneyland and what he had to do to secure the finances for Disneyland. And it's really incredible to see that this little dream, this little spark of something that he had came this huge park that is now massive. You know, we have Star Wars Land opening up next year. We have DCA. Um, it's just, I don't know, like just thinking of Disneyland and thinking of the two times I've gone just brings up so much nostalgia and so much happiness and so many good memories. I seriously cannot wait. Um, it's like, I think I did, I think I tweeted it out the other day. I think it's like 16 weeks or something like that until I go back and just like all the memories. And I'm going with one of my really bestest friends and she's never been to a Disney park. And so not only do I get to experience her first time seeing it all, I kind of, it's almost like redoing my first time because it's been 20 years since, maybe even a little bit more than 20 years since I've been to the Disneyland park. But, um, I just wanted to share some of some of the memories and the fondness that I have of my two times visiting the Disneyland Park. And uh, let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite thing about Disneyland? Um, if you've gone to Disneyland, 
what is your favorite memory from Disneyland? Just let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like us, like this channel, please make sure to subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up. You can follow us, of course, on social media. We are Cousins Who Disney on Instagram and Facebook and Cousins Disney XO on Twitter. Um, and make sure you check out the blog. We have lots of fun things going on in the blog right now. It's CousinsWhoDisney.com. Um, we are in the middle of treat month, so every Friday we are featuring new homemade Disney treats that we have been doing at home. Um, and of course you can find all of Alexia's nail arts there as well as here on YouTube. You can see, you know, kind of more of a description over on the blog too every Monday. So until next time, bye guys!